All right, I want to welcome everyone to our live Saturday morning presentation. We're going to be looking at E9, which is Synergy Worldwide's natural energy drink. And uh, as you can see in this opening, uh, everyone should be able to see my screen and that. So you should see what the old box of E9 looked like and what the new box looks like now that the uh, packaging has all been coordinated to uh, be compatible to the microbiome product line. Uh, although the packaging has changed, the formulation hasn't. So all the ingredients that are part of E9 that were in the old packaging, all the ingredients are the same in the new packaging. Uh, just again, a different packaging. So what we want to do is we want to look at why this is a fantastic natural energy drink. And we want to also help you understand the marketplace that you have for energy drinks if you decide to use E9 as one of the products to both create customers and cash flow for your Synergy business. Now, I pulled this chart from the Caffeine Informer, and I'll also show you one other thing from the Caffeine Informer. Uh, you can simply go online and type in Caffeine Informer in a browser window, and you can come to their website. Uh, but these are the five major uh, energy supplements. We were talking earlier before we started this uh, webinar this morning, we were talking about Monster and Red Bull, uh, Rockstar is out there, uh, AMP and NOS. Those would be the, the, the ones that are the primary drivers of the energy market. And as you can see, it's Red Bull and Monster and some Rockstar. If you, if you take those three together, uh, over 80% of the marketplace is tied up between those three energy drinks. And one of the things that Synergy Worldwide did when they first brought out their E9 is they did a comparison chart. And I don't know if this is available on the new website. Uh, certainly we have it a couple places available to us in the Synergy Library and other places where you can get a PDF of this. Uh, but I am recording this and I do uh, have this as a PDF. If someone needs it, I can certainly send them the PDF. And we're gonna go specifically through this comparison chart because there's some significant differences between E9 and the five major energy drinks that are out there, Red Bull, Rockstar, Monster, Amp, and NOS, uh, as well as there's a difference in terms of cost between the two. Now, certainly you can find maybe lower cost than what this, this comparison chart shows because there are specials available for Red Bull and Rockstar, um, but typically if you buy them individually without a special, this gives you a little bit of a pricing comparison. And, and so what we wanna do is we wanna go through this now, I have some videos up here that are older videos that have the old packaging. Uh, one of my goals this month is to do a new video on E9 with the new packaging and pretty much go through the same presentation that you're going to see right now. If we look at the energy comparison chart between E9 and the other five major energy drinks, you can see that the first one starts out with regards to caloric intake. Uh, there's only 20 calories in E9 as opposed to somewhere between 100 to 140 calories in the other ones. And the reason for that is the amount of uh, sugar that's added to it. So you can see that in the E9, let's go back to this one here, it's a little bit easier to see. You can see that there's no sugar added to E9, whereas there is sugar that's added to all the other ones. We're gonna come back to this sugar comparison in just a little bit. You'll also notice that uh, people are uh, cognizant of their their carbohydrate intake nowadays and as you can see there's five grams of carbohydrate that's in E9 as opposed to anywhere from 27 grams of carbohydrate all the way up to 31 grams of carbohydrate now when you look at the five grams of carbohydrate that's in E9 it comes basically from inulin five grams and as we've been taught through the microbiome product line, inulin is a fantastic uh, soluble fiber that's in multiple products within the microbiome product line because inulin is what's called a prebiotic, which is a, a soluble fiber that doesn't digest for you, but is great for the proper bacteria that you want in your abdominal cavity. And so you get three grams of inulin, which is a soluble fiber called a fructin, and that soluble fiber 
uh, again, helps to enhance the bacteria within your colon, bifidobacteria, one of the things that we've talked about in the past, and I just thought about this now as I'm doing this presentation, is that type of bacteria helps people stay lean. Uh, so it's really a key bacteria that you want in your colon. So there's, so I, I never ever looked at E9 as a product that would be like a microbiome product, but as we go through this presentation, you're gonna see that the E9 would be a great supplement for a person who is on the microbiome program to provide them both with energy as well as help them in this process of resetting their gut health. So inulin enhances the absorption of minerals like calcium, magnesium, zinc, and iron, which are all needed for energy production. It helps to lower trig triglyceride levels, which can help to reduce the risk for heart attack. And as we talked about, it helps to reduce appetite. So again, one of the things that I do with Pro Arch 9 Plus for a person who's looking for weight loss is I recommend that they take Pro Arch 9 Plus in eight to 10 ounces of water 30 minutes prior to their, their largest meal because it will curb their appetite. If they did the same thing with regards to E9, maybe not before their dinner meal, but certainly before their lunchtime meal, uh, because if they're going to work, and for many people, lunchtime meal is one of their larger meals, whether they're packing a lunch to take to work or whether they're going out and spending money, here would be a great way for a person who is looking for weight management and improved afternoon energy to take one stick of E9 in eight to 10 ounces of water 30 minutes prior to their lunch or going to lunch, and that would help reduce their appetite which would then save them caloric intake during their lunch. So, so there's a lot of different ways that you can position E9. Main way is as, as, as an energy supplement, but also in conjunction with a person who's in the microbiome program resetting their gut health would be a way for them to improve energy, as well as for a person that you know at work or a person that you know that's looking to lose weight and wants to improve their energy, here would be a great supplement that could help them in both cases. Now, as we go down through this, you can see that the carbohydrates, as we talked about, there's five grams of carbohydrates in E9. Three of those grams are made up of inulin. And then when you look at the other five, your grams are anywhere from 27 to 31. So let's just take an average of 28. 28 grams of carbohydrates in the, in the energy drinks that are in the marketplace one teaspoon of sugar is equal to four grams of carbohydrates. So if I take those, those 28 grams and divide it by four, that means that I'm actually taking seven teaspoons of sugar. Now, if you see a person taking a Rockstar or a Red Bull and it's not the sugar-free version, you can easily ask them a question. Hey, uh, do you typically add seven teaspoons of sugar to things that you drink? And, and the reaction that you're going to most likely get is, no, I would never do something like that. Well, did you know that what you're drinking has seven teaspoons of sugar? No way. You know, I, I remember I was at a presentation that I did for, for a, a Jean LaValle, and we were talking about sugar consumption, and the guy in the back row was eating a Yoplait yogurt. And so I used that same question with that guy in the back row. I said, hey, would you knowingly put seven teaspoons of sugar in anything that you eat? And the guy said, no, no, no way I would do something like that. I said, Did you, do you realize that that Yoplait cup that you're eating has seven teaspoons of sugar? I, again, he was, no way. There's no way. I said, okay, well, turn your cup around and look for the carbohydrates. Tell me how many grams of sugar are in that? 28 grams. Well, as we just talked about, one teaspoon of sugar is equal to four grams of carbohydrate. Take that 28 and divide it by four, and what do you have? Seven teaspoons of sugar. And he never ever realized that that's what he was doing almost on a daily basis every time he had that yolk plate cup. Well, it's the same thing with people who are taking Red Bull and Rockstar and Monster and AMP and NOS. As long as they're not taking the sugar-free versions, that's how many teaspoons of sugar that they're consuming. And it's a wake-up call for a lot of people. And you can do it by asking a question, which creates disbelief, 
And then you can educate them in a very simple way to help them understand that every time they consume that, they're consuming seven teaspoons of sugar, which affects their blood sugar, which could lead to type 2 diabetes. And would you like an alternative that would give you better energy without that consumption of sugar? In fact, give you longer lasting energy, more consistent energy, no energy drop off at the end and be healthy for you? So like one of the things I want to help you understand in this presentation today is understanding little key nuggets about E9 and how you can use those nuggets to position information in front of a person to help them want to make a change in an existing habit that they're already doing. Because if you have a person who's already taking energy drinks, well, we're not asking them to stop taking energy drinks. We're just suggesting to them an alternative to their energy drink that would be more effective and healthier and as cost effective or less money that they're spending. So they've already got a spending habit and you're just helping them to redirect that spending habit towards E9. Now, as we go down through this energy chart, one of the main issues that separates E9 from the rest of the competition is the use of anhydrous caffeine, which is a pharmaceutical substance that in pure form causes heart palpitations, increased blood pressure, and anxiety issues. And all the big five use anhydrous caffeine. Whereas E9 uses what's called guarana. So what's guarana? Guarana is a natural sourcing of caffeine as opposed to a laboratory source of caffeine. And clinical studies have shown that guarana improves memory, improves alertness, and improves a person's mood. A lot of times anhydrous caffeine will not do that. In fact, it has just the opposite effect, especially in terms of a person's mood, anxiousness and, and other things, you know, they're, 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 they're anxious and they're quick in terms of how they respond to people, usually in a negative way. So again, here you have guarana, which is a natural source of caffeine that removes the potential for some significant health issues. As we go down through this, none of them use L-arginine. We're all versed in nitric oxide therapy and the use of L-arginine. So L-arginine is part of E9, and that helps to increase oxygen delivery through improved blood flow. Anytime that you can increase oxygen delivery, you're going to help to improve a person's energy. One of the things when I was doing this comparison uh, and the original videos for E9 was this whole aspect of why did, why did Synergy Worldwide increase include vitamin C at such a high level. You'll notice that when you look at the other ones, only two of them include vitamin C at 100% of the daily nutritional allotment, whereas Synergy Worldwide has 500%, so five times the amount of vitamin C in E9. And as I was doing my research, vitamin C is critically important in maintaining endothelial cell health and function. Well, that again fits into this whole aspect of nitric oxide therapy that's part of our marketing strategy. And so if I can, you know, Synergy Worldwide and their wisdom in creating the E9 product enhances endothelial activity so that if you've got your L-arginine, which is in the E9, well, that helps you to convert that L-arginine into nitric oxide to improve blood flow, which then improves the delivery of oxygen and nutrients for greater energy production. So it's a significant add. And again, from, just from an educational standpoint, it really helps you to understand the importance of vitamin C and what it does for endothelial health and function. Now, when we get into the B vitamins, as an overall perspective, B vitamins are part of energy production. B vitamins are also water soluble which means that they're not stored in your body and they need to be replenished on a daily basis. So when you look at the product E9, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, there's seven different types of B vitamins that are part of this. And as we go down through this, we have vitamin B1. Now you'll notice that vitamin B1 is not in any of the others, but it is in E9. And the importance of vitamin B1 is that it converts sugar into energy. 
energy that is especially useful to your heart, your brain, your lungs, and your kidneys. You know, we certainly have organ systems that are extremely important to our health. But when you look at primary organ systems that are essential to your health, your heart, your brain, your lungs, and your kidneys. So, so this addition of B1 is extremely important, plus it improves brain function, especially in the area of memory and concentration. Uh, so any person who's on the job really could do you know, find benefits in terms of improved energy and concentration so that they can do their job more effectively. We also have vitamin B2. Now, you'll notice that vitamin B2 is greater than three, equal to one, and half of one of the other ones. So vitamin B2 helps to break down proteins, fats, and carbohydrates for energy production. And it's also extremely important to convert vitamin B6 and B9 into their active forms. So it's important to have this one in here if you're gonna have the other two vitamins as part of your energy mix. Uh, it tells me that some of the energy drinks either stumbled on that reason or understand the reason for including vitamin B2 if they're gonna add vitamin B6 and B9 into their product. Vitamin B3, as you can see, has the highest concentration in E9. And its primary benefit is in heart and vascular health, but it also assists the energy production of cells. And again, going back to this whole microbiome aspect of what we've learned as Synergy has released their microbiome product line and our understanding of the microbiome is that it also promotes a well-functioning digestive system, which again, would make E9 of good additional supplement for a person who's doing the biome program from Synergy Worldwide as a way for them to improve their energy levels and at the same time help them in the conversion of, or I should say, resetting their gut health. When we look at vitamin B5, you'll notice that the highest percentage is in E9. There's only one other energy drink that's equal to it. And the reason why vitamin B5 is important is because it converts food into glucose for energy production. And it also breaks down fats, carbohydrates, and proteins for energy production. And the other thing that vitamin B5 is important in is involved in the formation of red blood cells. Well, red blood cells are what bind and deliver oxygen to your cells. So if you can, again, supplement your body with a good source of vitamin B5, you can then help in the production of red blood cells, which then again comes back to this whole aspect of delivering oxygen to your cells. And the better that you can deliver oxygen to your cells, then the better that you're going to be able to produce energy. It also helps to maintain normal mental performance and reduces fatigue and tiredness. So it's a really a key vitamin B to have as part of your mix. When we look at vitamin B6, it's, it's involved in normal protein and glycogen metabolism. Well, glycogen metabolism is important for energy production. It's important for normal red blood cell form formation, which goes back to that last slide that we looked at. Normal energy yielding metabolism, normal psychological functions, and reducing tiredness and fatigue. And as you can see, there's a significant amount of vitamin B6 compared to the other ones, you'll see that the, uh, the one that has, let me go back to this one here, that would be Red Bull. So when we look at the, ed, the comparison, the only one that comes close is Red Bull, Bull 250%. Well, we're four times that. All the other ones are either 10% or 100%. So, so we're either 100 times more or 10 times more, or four times more in this area of vitamin B6. And one of the key things is that it reduces tiredness and fatigue. Key B vitamin to have as part of your product. And then there's vitamin B9, uh, which is only found in E9 and NOS. And it is important for energy production to help again reduce fatigue and tiredness. Now, when you look at these comparisons, there's things in uh, vitamin B12, let's see. 
So vitamin B12, I, you can't see this one here because I unfortunately uh, stuck this over it. So if, let's go back to this one here. You can see that there's 2,000% of vitamin B12 in, the, in E9 compared to anywhere from 10% to 100% in the other five major energy drinks. So why is vitamin B12 important? Well, again, normal blood cell formation, normal energy metabolism, normal homocysteine metabolism, which is key to heart health, normal neurological and psychological functions, and it also reduces tiredness and fatigue. And the nice thing about it is you'll notice that I have this EFSA, which is the European Food Safety Authority. These are values, the, these statements here that you see in blue are values that have been placed on this vitamin as what they see as benefits. And having the European Food Safety Authority make these benefits for this vitamin is critically important, especially if you have any distributors that are over in the European market that wants to use E9 as a natural energy drink supplement to help people convert from, again, the other energy drinks that they might be consuming. And if I go back through this, you'll see that uh, the, some of these statements here, again, for vitamin B6 come from the European Food Safety Authority. And I thought I had it for one other. Oh, yes, I do. Here, for vitamin B5. Now, in addition to all the B vitamins, there are certain herbs that are part of E9 that make a huge difference. Herba mate extract. This herb provides what's called a clean caffeine effect, meaning that it provides energy and alertness like caffeine, but has none of the unpleasant side effects like jitters and nervousness. When you continue down, we have green tea extract. This herbal extract has multiple health benefits, but specific to our discussion today on improved energy and brain function, it's been associated with caffeine that's found in green tea. In addition to improving uh, brain function and energy, it also improves mood, vigilance, reaction time, and memory. And it's also been shown to improve physical performance by metab or mobilizing fatty acids from the fat tissues and making them available for energy production. You know, this would go back again to this whole thing that I talked about with regards to maybe positioning E9 for a person who's looking to improve their energy and weight management. Taking E9 30 minutes prior to their lunchtime meal would do a couple things. One, curb their appetite, which then helps them reduce their caloric intake, provides them with better energy afterwards, and in that better energy after lunch, one of the things that's going on is that the green tea extract is helping to mobilize free fatty acids from the fat tissue to make them available for energy production, which means that that helps to reduce their fat stores within their body. So again, you have multiple benefits of E9 when properly positioned to help a person with regards to weight management. Then there's Korean ginseng root extract, which been, has been shown to improve thinking ability, cognition, behavior, and quality of life. And then we have maca root extract. And maca root extract, if you do any research on it, it's usually traditionally used to enhance fertility for both men and women. But with regards to E9, it helps people feel more alive, energetic. It leaves them with a greater sense of well-being to elevate what's called the feel-good endorphins within the brain. And when you look at the clinical trials on maca root, they've been consistently shown to have a positive effect on energy, stamina, and mood while lowering levels of anxiety and depression. And then finally, you have two ingredients, acai concentrate and aloe vera whole leaf concentrate. And I was, when I, when I originally did my review of the products that are part, or the ingredients that are part of the E9 and did my research, I was curious to know why Synergy Worldwide put the acai berry concentrate in and the aloe vera whole leaf concentrate. And so when you look at the acai berry, it provides a storehouse of energy, which combats fatigue and exhaustion. And it also improves mental function while helping to improve digestion. Again, we come back to this microbiome. And when you look at the aloe vera whole leaf, 
what it does is it helps to smooth, or I should say soothe, the tissues that line the digestive tract, which then aids in the absorption of nutrients. And when I read that statement, I immediately think of the leaky gut survey that we've shown you a couple weeks ago. You know, the leaky gut survey is a checklist of triggers and symptoms that would indicate the probability of a person having what's known as a leaky gut. A leaky gut would mean that the tissue lining the digestive tract has been eroded, which then allows toxins and other things to enter the bloodstream that don't belong in the bloodstream. And here, what do we have as part of E9? Aloe vera whole leaf concentrate, which helps to smooth that lining of the digestive tract, which helps to alleviate some of those leaky gut issues that a person might have. So another reason why E9 would be a great addition for a person who is on the microbiome program as a way for them to continue to improve their energy levels. Now, when I go back here, everything is all about positioning information. So as I was thinking about ways to position information for a person with regards to E9, and, and I'm still thinking this one through, uh, because I'd like to create a, a comparison chart between E9 and the other uh, the other energy drinks and and compare benefits versus um, uh, potential health issues. So so I don't have the, on, on this one here as I was doing this, uh, I don't have what I would call the health benefits, but here are some of the things that are ways of positioning E9 for a person. One is convenience. E9 only comes as single serve packs. So it's easy for a person to stick it in their pocket or for a lady to stick it in her purse and be able to take that anywhere that they go. So there's a convenience to that. Whereas typically Red Bull and the other energy drinks are in some type of bottle form that again uh, would make it a little harder for a, a male to carry it in their pocket uh, certainly, a female could put it into their purse, but again, it you know takes up a whole lot more space than what just a single serve packet does of E9. It's affordable, uh, anywhere from a dollar to a dollar thirty, depending upon whether they buy one box of E9 or whether they might buy six boxes of E9. Uh, there's no energy crash. The unfortunate reality of most energy drinks that are in the marketplace is because they're using such a large amount of sugar, seven tablespoons of sugar, or seven teaspoons of sugar or more, typically there's an energy crash with that drink. You don't have that with E9. There is no energy crash. You have clean energy burn for a long period of time without the crash. Uh, you also save time. Uh, you don't have to stop at the convenience store to go in and wait in line to get your Red Bull or your Monster or whatever you might be drinking. You've got your, your stick with you. So you can take it any place that you go. You can tear it off. You can put it in your water bottle. If you've got people who hike and, and do outdoor activities who like energy drinks, well, there's two issues. One, they got to pack that with them as opposed to just packing bottles of water. If they do E9, they're gonna pack their bottles of water, and now instead of having an additional Rockstar or Monster or Red Bull in a can that has to go into their backpack, which has additional weight to it, all they have to do is just put, put their stick of E9. And then when they go to consume it, they just tear the top off and pour it into their water that they already have in their backpack. And so, one, it's convenient. Secondly, from an environmental standpoint, they don't have a can that they then have to either throw, find some, find some place to put it into for disposal or doing something that's not appropriate, which would be leaving it on the ground or having to put it back into their backpack back to carry home, again, all they do is tear off the top, pour it in the water, shake it up, and then now they can drink it. And they just take that stick, the empty stick, and put it back in their backpack. So again, it just makes it easier for a person to save time and be environmentally responsive. 
And then mental clarity. Enhance their mental clarity and physical energy levels and maintain alertness and improve their cognitive capacity well beyond anything that they're going to experience from any, any, any of the other energy drinks, as well as they're going to improve their health, especially supporting cardiovascular health. Now, one of the things that uh, I added this morning to this is I, again, going back to the caffeine informer, again, I gave you a chart at the beginning of today's presentation with regards to the market size. Uh, here are the 10 top energy drink dangers that you'll find on the caffeine informer. Cardiac arrest, headaches and migraines, increased anxiety, insomnia, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, drug interactions, addictions, risky behavior, jitters and nervousness. And, and so one of the things that I'd like to do sometime this month for E9 from a marketing standpoint, because it's a product that I would like to do a better job marketing myself personally, because of such, the, such a large amount of people that take energy drinks, is to do a benefits comparison between Pro Arsenine, I'm not sorry, between E9 and the listed health benefits. In fact, let's go and see, uh, since we're on the internet, uh, let me pull up Synergy Worldwide's website. And when we pull up Synergy Worldwide's website, we can go to E9. We're going to go to all products. Scroll down here to E9. All right, so what I can do is I could create a comparison between benefits that are given to me by Synergy Worldwide so that I don't get myself in trouble and I don't get Synergy Worldwide in trouble and I can list long-lasting healthy energy through a unique low-calorie formulation. Combines health benefits of L-Arginine to support cardiovascular health. Enhances mental and physical energy levels. Maintains alertness, improves cognitive capacity, increases physical performance, stimulates the body's natural ability to produce energy. Great tasting tropical burst flavor. I'd most likely leave that last one off. And then if I go back to the top 10 energy drink dangers, I would, again, have an image of the E9 packaging versus an image of a, uh, you can find this uh, uh, on something like uh, bigstock.com. You can find a crumpled canister of, um, I think it's Rockstar, or it would be, no, a crumpled can of Red Bull so that you can't read the label. And you could have that image and you could put, uh, you could do a comparison between the two, and you could have the benefits of E9 compared to the dangers of the energy drink. And you could list some of these. You know, if I was going to list them, I would list uh, headaches and migraines, increased anxiety, high blood pressure, uh, risky behavior, jitters, and nervousness. I might put cardiac arrest last, uh, but I'd also put seven grams of sugar or seven teaspoons of sugar, and, and a few other things that we've highlighted today. So uh, as I think this through, I'll, I'll, at some point in time, I'll have a PDF that will have what I would like to do from a marketing standpoint of, of the benefits of E9 versus the dangers of the other energy drinks. And I'll make that available sometime this month to everyone. I'll uh, give a link into our Tuesday newsletter I'll create it as a PDF that you will be able to link onto, and then I'll also put it up onto our Facebook page as a PDF that, again, you could download to your computer and use as a marketing source uh, for anything that you might want to do in terms of promoting this. The other thing that I'm going to do, too, is, is we, we, have a, we had a strategy for E9, and I'm going to update these. Uh, they were pass-out cards. Ask for the power of E9 energy. This is the front of the card. Are you ready to live life to its fullest? Would you like to enhance your physical energy and performance? Improve your mental alertness and concentration. Avoid the crash and burn of traditional energy drinks and stimulate your body's ability to produce energy naturally. Join the E9 healthy energy revolution. I'm going to update this so that it's got the current picture of E9. And then the back of the card was for as little as, seven, for as, little as $1.17 per day. 
convenient, affordable, your satisfaction guarantee. Our exclusive all natural, high energy, low calorie formula empowers you with the energy you need or the energy you desire to enjoy life to its fullness. When your energy is low, E9 will be there. And then one box is $39, two boxes is 78, four boxes is 140. Uh, on the current energy or current website for Synergy Worldwide, they don't have the two box option, but they do give you the one box option, which is 39. And they give you the four box option, which is 140. So again, you can create interest and if a person wants to get one box of, of E9, uh, as we've talked about in the past, if you go to, and I don't know if I've got this set up on my platform. Yes, I do. So if you, if you set up your customer website, your, your replicating customer website for your Synergy ID number, which again is your, your Synergy ID number, which then identifies you when a person goes on that, you can again go down to all products you can then click on e9 and then you can copy and paste that url and send that url to a person and it automatically defaults to the one pack program and so a person can choose one pack four packs or six packs of e9 to add to the shopping cart and then check out and if they're not an existing customer then they'll be prompted to become a customer. And the nice thing about it is in the prompting process of them becoming a customer with Synergy Worldwide, anything that they buy, the CV value of it, in this case, 33 CV, or if they do a four pack, it's 120 CV, that is attached to your Tracking Center One. And then depending upon where your volume is for the month on Tracking Center One, if it's above the 150 threshold here in the United States or above the 100 CV threshold in Canada, you now start earning elite rebates, which is a 25% rebate on the CV value of the proc or proc combination that they're purchasing. So, so that's a way that uh, I'll make that available as well as I'll make the update on these pass out cards. I'm, I'm gonna most likely change this from a pass out card to a half page flyer. So it's a little bit easier for a person to read and be able to pass out to a person. And, and again, it uh, gives directions. Mix your E9 packet in eight to 12 ounces of water and drink over a period of 30 minutes. Mix is best at, at room temperature water. Caution, do not take within four hours of bedtime as you can, so you can fall asleep at any time. So that would be the only caution that we would have with regards to E9 is don't take it before you go to bed because then for most people, you're not gonna sleep, as Donald can testify. And if you want, you, know, you can also do this as a free, you know, if you, if you wanna do um, what I call a test. Uh, I don't recommend this for, for ProArching Plus because ProArching Plus, typically you're not going to see the improvements in your cardiovascular health within one stick. But the nice thing about E9 is you can put that E9 to the test. And if you give it to 10 people, eight people out of 10 are gonna most likely see an immediate benefit from the E9 in terms of their energy. Uh, so, so that's something that you can offer to a person is a free sample so that they can test it. And then if they like it, they can then, if you put your information, your contact information, you can have them call you or text you that if they want to order the product. So with that said, do I have any questions with regards to this morning's presentation on E9? Yes, Dan, Timothy here. Hey, Timothy. The possible card that would be coming down to us would need to have the box prices vacant. Maybe okay. We can get one box or two boxes or four boxes or six boxes and, uh, and then retail them the price. Great, okay, I'm making a note here so that when I do this, I'll have one for the Barbados market and then one for here in the US. Okay. Good. Uh, besides that, uh, I'm gonna take off the 11772 uh, for us to uh, economical price for serving. Great. All right, so I'll adapt, I'll, I'll adapt so that there's no pricing information on your card. 
Yes, sir. Great. Thank you for that information and suggestion. Be because uh, if you put one box in a little space, I don't think you need to leave a space. Inquire about the prices for one box, two boxes, four boxes, eight boxes, whatever. Let's inquire and then we're going to supply the information. Excellent. Thank you. Besides that, the presentation was. <laughs> Thank you, Timothy. It was packed with good stuff. I really enjoyed it. Good, thank you. Uh, anyone else have any comments or suggestions for to this for this morning's presentation? So this is Judy. Good morning, Judy. Good morning, Dan. Great presentation. Um, I just like to share something about Garana that um, I learned several years ago that uh, may be of interest to people. Um, Garana is actually a leaf that's found in the Andes Mountains, and it is used by um, farmers in the mountains, and they put it in their mouth and chew it um, around lunchtime because they can't take a break for lunch. And so they use the guarana to, um, to suppress their appetite and to give them energy. So they can work all day without eating. And so that's just a, a little thing that, um, that I learned about guarana a couple of years ago. Interesting. So I want to make sure I don't uh, take this too far, but are you suggesting that instead of putting the packet of E9 in water that we just, just put it in our mouth and chew it? <laughs> oh, I don't think so. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Then, the living excitement when the was in the area. Timothy, your, your sound's coming in and out. Then the Pele, the footballer from South America, uh -huh. when he was playing, he used to chew the bark. And at one time, most of the Russian athletes used to use it for energy. And, and this came out with um, several years ago, the benefits of Corona. And it used to be in a part that named NRG. So when you said NRG, it gives you energy. And that used to be a product on the market. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you, Judy. So we won't we won't uh, take the stick uh, and and chew it. We'll just put it in the water like we're supposed no. to. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, Judy. Anyone yeah. else have anything that you would like to share or add to this morning's presentation? Yes, Dan. John here. Yes, John. Um, yeah, I wanted to, to say that it was an excellent presentation and the, the product uh, seems to be an excellent product uh, from marketing to, to sports clubs and um, uh, athletes on the whole. Um, I think I think that, that, that they will make a very viable market if we present the information, you know, in a, in a very good manner as you did this morning. Um, so I think there's, there's much scope for this product to, to go forward. And actual fact, um, with the consciousness that people have now about their health um, because of the diabetes epidemic, um, which is spreading globally, um, I think we have a, a good chance of, of reaching many people with this, with this product. Yes, excellent. And, and the nice thing about it is uh, as distributors, uh, I buy the E9 in what's called a 24-pack. Uh, they have a six-pack. Well, they have a four-pack, a six-pack, a 12-pack, and then they also have a 24-pack. They don't list the 24-pack, but it is there. And uh, for me personally, uh, you know, you talked about sports clubs and things like that. Well, I have a, I have a market of people who use E9 uh, that I sell to directly. And... Mm -hmm. When you buy a 24 pack, I don't have any information that's physically I've typed up to show you this morning. But when I take my cost of getting a 24 pack here, when I pay my sales tax here in Illinois, my shipping to have Synergy send it to me, my cost on a 24 pack is um, $24.75. So if I round that up to $25, 
and I sell the box for 39, I make a $14 profit margin. So if you're looking at sports clubs, one of the things that you can share with them is this is also a way for them to bring in a natural energy product that would be ideal for the members in their sports club, as well as provide them with an additional source of revenue. So if I sell those 24, if I'm making a $14 profit margin, again, this is US dollars, and I'm selling 24 of them, then every time I go through 24 boxes, I make an extra $336. So like anything, it's scalable. You know, depending upon how well I want to market it within my health facility, how many people are coming to my sports facility, you know, what I do from a promotional standpoint to show them the benefits of E9 versus the danger of the energy drinks that they're taking and help what they already have as a buying habit and convert it from the buying habit of a energy drink that has complications to an energy drink that has benefits. And, and so I, I'm not asking them to, to spend more money. I'm just getting them to redivert their already spending buying habit into a better product. So that could be something that, you know, if you begin to make some headways into those different areas, I can help you understand how to maybe show those facilities how E9 could become an extra revenue source for them in their facilities. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. And um, I, I was thinking that um, even uh, supermarkets may be interested in this product, product as well um, mm -hmm. because they usually carry, you know, the, the, the Red Bull and the, the, um, the other ones that, that do uh, competing products. They usually carry those. And um, so I think, think with um, the, getting the information to them and um, having also the information dis um, displayed in store um, could be a, a very an excellent way of actual fat, um, growing sales within the supermarket setting. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. I think I have a question here in the chat box. All right. Thanks, Elon. Uh, yes. Yeah, so I've recorded this, and we will make it available on Tuesday. Dan. Yes. It's Donald. Yes, Donald. On the medical side, when you mentioned uh, homocysteine, I remember in, and I, I looked at my medical report, and in 2014, um, my homocysteine um, was consistently high when I do a blood test. Uh, the range is um, between 4.0 and 15.4. And mine um, would be 18.7. Um, in recent blood tests, and, and I'm going through my uh, Lenko um, diagnostic support, and it shows that um, mine is now 12.5. So I'm, it has brought down my um, homocysteine to a, a, a manageable weight. I should say I'm, I'm within the, the normal way. Mm -hmm. So yes, this um, this really, really works. Good. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, sure. Good. Yeah, very good. Uh, any, anything else from anyone before we say goodbye? Um, well, I just want to say I'm looking forward to, to you doing the changes that you said you would do, you know, in terms of, of Changing the, the, the pictures of the, the, the box, you know, the packaging and so on, and um, getting ready the things that you said you would for marketing, because I, I see a, a, a good prospect in this 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 product this product here that you identified this morning. Well, I will work on it this month so that we have it available uh, sometime this month. Okay. Thanks very much for doing. You're that. welcome. Okay, one last call. Any comments or? suggestions or questions before we say goodbye great it was great great good hopefully you can convert all those people in the call center to e9 <laughs> you know what you might want to do is suggest to them that they do a study have uh you know, have 10 people on mon you know on the standard energy drink and 10 people on e9 and see what their performance levels are over a month's time you know what i I'll, i'm gonna do that because it, the really funny thing I thought, I, you know, we just had this 
help and and you know like this let's get healthy campaign throughout the company and then they're doing this in the call center and that's like you are just giving us too many bad choices right x yes yeah so that's another way of approaching it thank you and thanks for all the facts you're welcome all right well, I'm going to say goodbye, everyone. Have a blessed Saturday. Hope it's a good one for you. And we'll talk to you next week. I think uh, Judy and Bob are giving us one of the laws of leadership next Saturday.